Now, no spaceman is properly prepared without space pants. But suitably attired, I'm ready to be introduced to my space suit. Morning. Right, what do we do? Have a seat. seat. The long johns are just the first of my suit's five layers. Breathable Gore-Tex, airtight rubber, a restraining wire mesh and the yellow protective layer create an airtight cocoon around me. Right, I've got a bit of a hair issue here. This is a quarter of a million dollars worth of space technology. This suit is going to be my life support system. I have to learn to avoid suffocating once I'm sealed inside. It's all right, actually. <laughs> it's better than I expected. Cabby's here. He's promised to hold my hand for the next bit, because if I can't operate all these regulators, I'm in trouble. Whenever we're ready, we're going to go ahead and connect your oxygen. They keep the suit pressurised, control the temperature inside, and deliver oxygen into my helmet. You don't want to inflate the suit without your visor down because it'll try to extrude your head out the helmet. You don't want that. I guess I look the part now. But the big test is whether the suit, and I, can hold up under extreme pressure. Here goes. And we're going to bring it down. Can you open this up a minute? Yeah. Oh. You doing okay? No, can you let it down? Oh, shit. What's wrong? Ears, sinus? No, it's really freaking me out, sorry. Okay. I'm doing my best, but it's awful. Oh. Oh. Sorry, please don't film it. First time I ever put our just our low flight helmet on the gray helmet with the mask, I was very claustrophobic and ended up uh, actually vomiting after that episode. It's it's pretty common, it's pretty normal, and you just do a couple things to try to overcome that. Again, mind over matter. But well, I've done my first series of spacesuit tests, uh, and the suit works perfectly well, but I'm not sure I performed that brilliantly because I do find it, if I'm brutally honest, a bit claustrophobic. It's not the suit, the suit's fine, it's actually very comfortable, it's the helmet. It's very close to your head and it's got a rubber seal around and the oxygen hisses in and out and the visor's right there. It just freaks me out a bit.